Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Tuesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in four decks of cards for this reading today. I'm going to bring in the counterpart decks, the Divine Feminine Gets Real and the Divine Masculine Gets Real. I'm also going to bring in the Guardian Angel Inspiration cards by Sandra and the beautiful Gildy Tarot. So we're going to connect with the energy around you, your person, your journey and see what's going on. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So what's the energy around you today? What's the energy around you today? Got two cards jumping out there. What's the energy around them today? We've got two cards, three cards there. And the energy around the journey. Well, I've jumped over the camera one card. What's the guidance from the angels for you today? What's the guidance for you? Got two cards, two cards. What's the guidance for them today? Jumping over the camera, wow, and one card sticking out. And the energy around the journey itself, we've got one card, amazing. Now, we're going to use the masculine and feminine deck for all three energies. So what's the energy coming in around you? We've got one card. What's the energy that's coming in around them today? We've got two cards and a card sticking out of the deck there. And the energy around the journey itself... The energy around the journey itself, there we go. Look at that one soul, Twin Flames. Look at that for the journey, wow. So there's a lot of messages coming through about Twin Flames and coming into awareness of the Twin Flame journey and what that love is. So what's the message coming through for you today? What's the guidance for you, one card? What's the guidance coming through for them? Clear card, please, angels. There it is, clear card coming out. And the energy around the journey. What's the message coming through for the journey? Jumped over the camera again there. And I've got one card moving on top of the deck. Okay, so let's see what's going on then. So the message for you today is they do want to open their heart to you. And I know that's what you want. You want them to show you their love. You want them to express to you how they feel. You want them to open up and communicate to you. And if it's not happening right now, it can cause you pain. Because you're very open to this love. You're very vulnerable. You show them your truth. You know, you are open to this and you're being you and authentic and they're very inspired by that but they are going to open up to you no matter how things seem they're actually doing the work on themselves so this is reminding you right now until they are ready to come forward and open up to you you work on you you do you and it's okay for you to be you be vulnerable you can do this look at this let go of all fears and worries be joyful you can do this you can do this. If you're thinking, I just can't deal with this today or I can't handle this anymore. I don't know if I can keep going. You can't. You can do this. Let go of all fears and worries and be joyful. What this reminds me of, you know, when I'm channeling, because I love to watch um, shows and films and things like that, the angels give me ideas in my mind to talk about, to show you like a vision of this or something to connect with. And what they show me is in the film Supergirl, and I'm talking about the original one with Faye Dunaway in and Helen Slater when she was Supergirl. There's a bit where, you know, in there where she goes into the Phantom Zone and her kind of guru is there, Zoltar, or was, I think Zoltan, Zoltar, that's his name, Zoltar. Zoltan are those machines, aren't they, where out of big, where you put the money in and it brings out her... Um, something for you to read i think it's zoltar or Zolt, zoltan was that a film zoltan i'm getting zoltan with the um, so something that's a funny film out there called something like that anyway when supergirl is in um she's in the phantom zone zoltar is saying to her you can do this you can get out of this and she's climbing up the side of the phantom zone and it's like a big tornado and the tornado is whirling around and it keeps trying to get you know throw her off into the phantom zone so and she's got no powers you know she hasn't got the power of flight she can't she hasn't got the strength anymore being in the phantom zone has robbed her of her power and sometimes that's how we feel on this journey we feel like this journey can rob us of our power so we have to find that power within and we have the support of heaven and our guides and even watching a reading like this one or connecting with soul family that reminds you of your strength and power and that's what I feel this message is for you today so when Supergirl was crawling up the side of this um, kind of big mountain to get out of the phantom zone and that whirlwind was trying to push her down and pull her off and throw her back into the the, the phantom zone in that pain 
Zolto was saying, you can. On, girl, you can. On, girl. You know, so this is the angel saying to you, you can do this onward. You are a warrior. You're not alone. Keep going. Don't give up. It's your sign. So when the fear overwhelms you, let it go. Give it to God. Give all your worries and concerns to heaven in exchange for peace and be joyful because you can do this. And you can affirm, I choose to be passionate. I choose where I spend my time. So today, choose activities that you're passionate about because that will raise your vibration. And know the truth, love is the answer to all of your questions. So whenever you're going through today, love is the answer, love. Love, not fear. Fear isn't the answer. Fear brings in problems. Love brings in solutions. Love is the answer. And you know this love is strong. You know that your person loves you no matter how they are acting right now. Because I feel that some of them are opening up and expressing their love, but others are shutting down. Others have gone into that cave. They seem to be hiding away the distance. But they are always communicating with you through their telepathic vibration, through music, signs, synchronicities, and your feelings. When you feel what they're feeling, what they are going through. And they do want to open up to you. And they want to choose to be with you because being with you is something they are passionate about. So the message today is let go of fear. You can do this. Work on yourself today. Now, the message coming in around them, things feel stuck because they need to release a situation, especially a commitment, a marriage or a karmic relationship. They need to release things that have got power over them right now, or it seems like they've got, has got power over them. Nothing's got power over them without their own permission. So they know that they have to release things that they need to release and let go of to be able to commit to you because ultimately they want that commitment with you and they are receiving guidance from their spiritual guides and from their angels to be able to step out of this stock energy they feel like they're at a crossroads they're trying to work things out they're trying to understand so the angels are guiding them to live in the present moment because that's what brings peace into their life when we overthink or we go into fear this is how it feels we feel blinded by it we feel stuck in it we feel like we can't see a way out we feel confused we don't know what to do and that's because we're being controlled by the past that we can't change or the future that hasn't yet occurred that's causing us pain and fear. So they are being guided to come back into the present moment and to only hold on to what aligns with their highest truth. So they're being guided by their angels and guides to believe in themselves, to believe in themselves to come home to you because their home is with you to be gentle and kind to you and to themselves and to face you because you are beautiful. You are beautiful to them. They are saying to you, you are beautiful. Your face, the way you are, the person you are inside and out, you are beautiful because you are kind. Please be kind to me today and gentle. I know my home is with you. I'm starting to believe in myself to be able to release myself from this stuck energy and any karmic binds. So they're releasing themselves from karmic binds because they want to hold on to only the things that align with their highest truth. Now, the message for the journey today is, remember, if you are hurting, if there's separation, it's preparation. If there's heartbreak, it's growing you. Take those swords out of your heart. You have a choice how you feel. The angels are reminding you, you go through things on this journey to end up where you're meant to be with what you deserve and who you deserve at the right time. And it may cause you pain in the meantime, thinking, oh, we're not together. That's so painful. But it will be worth it in the end because you deserve happiness and you deserve to have all of your dreams come true. The angels are saying to you, you are twin flames. You are one soul. The universe has got you when it comes to this situation. So you can affirm me and the universe have got a thing going on. We've got a thing going on. The universe has got my back. If you've seen big spiders or even small spiders, but if you've been seeing spiders, that's a huge sign of universal power. If you've been seeing 222 or 2222, huge sign the universe has got your back. If you've seen 1111, that's a sign right now that you're both ready to begin. You're both ready to start again. Your person is ready to let go of the past to start again with you, to let go of that karmic situation to start again with you. So let go. The pain is illusion. It's not real. The truth is their home is with you. 
So the message coming through for you today is love is the answer. No matter what's going on, love is the answer. If you feel like you can't do it, you can. On girl, on guy, you know, you can. You are a warrior of love. Keep going. Focus on the truth. And when you believe in yourself, your powers come back. And that's what happened to Supergirl. You know, when she started believing herself, the closer she got to the top, the more she started to believe. And then all of a sudden she could fly again. And she flew out of the phantom zone and she went to save the day. And you can save the day in your own life by believing in yourself. When you believe in your powers of divine feminine, then your masculine will start to believe in themselves. And the love will set you free and it will move everything into place. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.